Sneaky Linux back again. What have we got today? K9 Linux 003. Now I did K9 Linux ages and ages ago. And this is the latest update of it. Now it is a puppy, by the way. It's not uh, any other distro based on puppy. So at the top on the bar we have my files. My drives, terminal. Connect for connecting to the internet. There's no auto connect here. Internet, I think operators your standardised browser, editor. Yeah, search files, install software, setup wizard. Now, this is a very, very fast pup. I've actually I've got this as a, as a pup save on this one, a bit of a frugal, because the installer won't work properly mm, for a full install anyway. Didn't want to know. Got stuck at the grub bit, but hey, never mind. So anyway, there's actually no Office software. Now, if you want a system, you do need a bit of Office software. So you know I'm going to use them because every word. But I'm going to show you how to download it correctly so you're not actually missing any of the dependencies. So I'll go for the earlier Abby word. Now, examine dependencies. If you do this, you'll know if it's going to download them all for you. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few there. Go Office and Enchant are the main ones, but there's also extras it also needs. Now I've done this and they're all clicked, I know it's going to download and install correctly. Just like this, look. Off we go. Well, first, download it from the Netherlands. A bit of a schmook. And download packages. Man. Anyway, as you, see, as you see, I'm in heaven tonight. My internet speed is good. You may think it's rubbish, but this is super here. Wow, man. Okay, so we get dependencies as well. Downloading them all. And all. And all. And all. Yes, see, it's there. It's there. Here we go. Here's got them all. Do we want to trim the fat or do we want to keep them? I think we'll just keep them, don't you think? So just click OK. And that started installing them for us. Now I'll just actually cut this bit because it was, took a bit too long after a little while when it started installing everything. But hey, let's check in every works. That was the last one. For all the missing shared library files, we're done. Now that's how you install it correctly. Sometimes if you just click download before checking the dependencies, it only actually downloads one or two of the programs or one of the dependencies and you're stuck without the others. Bit of a pain. Abbey Word, one click, and whoosh, we're there. Ready to go and do what you have to do with it. And I've sort of got this on a pup save file. <clears throat> I'll give it a whole gig for a pup save file, so if you're going to do other stuff, it will all save. So that's all good for me, anyway. Super duper. If you've never done that before, I might have to do a video about it, about a frugal install and a pup save file. Quite different, isn't it? Right, Opera is a standard browser. And it opens like this. So I'll open it like that. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, Opera's alright. But there's just something I can't get my head around about it. I don't know what it is. I mean, it worked fine. Sometimes the flash was a bit dodgy on earlier ones and stuff like that. But hey, I don't know what it is. But hey, it works nice. It does work nice. Mind you, who am I to say, to be honest with you? you know, I'll just do this, man, don't I? Anyway, look for canine puppy, and all I found is bleeding dogs. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to K9 that Puppy Linux. So check in Linux at the end. And it'll go. Here we go. A new puppet. There we go. Tells you all about it. There you go. Superb, superb, superb. If you want to read more about yourself, go do that. This is the Puppy Linux homepage. Well, the mini homepage anyway. Tells you about different pups. Some are all right. So, I mean, I'll leave it to you to decide, really. Most ones I'll show you, I'll highlight them for you, are the better ones. Some that just don't look right, I don't do, because it's not worth it, really. It'll upset everybody, me and whoever makes them, etc. And they threaten to kill you and things like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, there we go. So, there's plenty of us on here now, look, as we're coming near the end of the vidvo. XFCE is your desktop, as you may have noticed. Usual puppy stuff, G parted, crab bootloader, all the utilities here, look. CUP frequency scaling, nothing, 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 nothing. Nah. FS converters. Yeah. Oh, down here, before we go, I will show you this bit. It's perfect, it's XFCE. You can change your desktop, look. You can make grounds and your icons, etc., etc. So I thought, ooh, yeah, give that a go. I'll show you what happens, shall I? 
Now what picture should we have? We'll go for Lake Alaska. Now that's good, isn't it? I oh, rather like that. But around your bar at the top, your eye bar or your task bar, it goes great. I'll show you how to correct that in a second. So you can change all your mouse stuff. Preferred applications. Well, obviously, as there's only Opera on here, Opera is your preferred application. But obviously, if you downloaded Firefox or one of the other smaller browsers, you could make that your default. Or see Monk even. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with a monk, man. Nothing wrong with a monk. Oh, panel merger you got here as well. Look, size, colour, shape of your panels. Windows merger tweaks. You can all change all stuff in here too. Different folks in accessibility, workspaces, placements, and composite door. All in one go. Am I out of breath? Was it? I don't know. I, don't know. I ain't been anywhere. That's a bit of a bad gesture. Anyway, that's that. Now, what you do basically, if you right click around the area of the bar at the top, it will get, get rid of that grey area and all's back as normal. Now, K9 Linux, very good, very quick. I couldn't do a full install, but I might work on that one another time. Hey, you never know. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.